Hi guys, Paul the Dog Trainer here. I'm down at Styling Dogs in Belmont, the only dog groomer that I know and trust. Let's take a look inside with Candace, the owner and operator, with some hints and tips on how to groom your dog. Let's take a look. And why is that important? Um, just make, basically so they can see, but also that, so the hair doesn't actually grow into their eyes okay. so, and cause irritations and things. Sure. Um, so if in between grooms you want to do this yourself, um, I generally just hold my thumb on top of their little muzzle like that, comb their little, I call it their veranda, just comb it all their veranda. straight forward, yeah, their little Great veranda, name. yeah, straight forward like that, and then you literally just want to cut across in a straight line. It's like a fringe. That's right. So we don't want to go too far up the face. We just want to do that straight line. How do you make sure they don't move and you cut their eye? Um, Is that from you holding their muzzle? Yeah, so I'm not holding it too tight. I think it's important not to apply too much pressure. Um, when Lily did move and try to fight me then, I just actually released some of the pressure yep. a little bit, let her fight it out and waited till she stayed still again. Sure. So I'm not definitely going to go putting scissors near her eyes while she's moving around. So Smart move. Um, she'll generally calm down. She, she's, she's got that trust now. She knows that nothing bad's going to happen. So. I'll say create just a little bit of a triangle. So just aiming your scissors up that yep. way and up that way, just to create that little triangle in here just to sure. kind of help open it up a bit. So she can see. That's right. So you now she can see. There we go. Cool. And the other thing I was going to show you was how to clip their nails. Sure, okay. And why is that important? A um, couple of things, the dew claws on the side here, that one's really, really important. Yep. The reason being is that that little dew claw there doesn't actually touch the ground whilst they're walking. Sure. So you can't grind it down okay. like with the concrete. So we have seen cases where these little dew claws have actually grown back around into their foot and that yep. can cause nasty infection. Okay. So How often do you should cut the nails? Um, we recommend at least once a month. Okay. Yep. So sure. um, sometimes if you walk your dog quite regularly, then that can help grind yep. it all down. Yeah. So, Great. Um, you'll see there, because she's got a lovely white nail, we can see where the red is. So she's growling at you now? She is. So the important thing here is I'm not letting go of her. Yep. Um, if I was to let go of her right now, then she's like, oh, I've won. Yep. I That's very, you and very I important won. note for the listeners. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just holding on. Annie can see she's getting over it yep. now. So I'm not, I'm not fighting her. I'm not being yep. aggressive towards her. I'm just staying calm and just saying, you can fight sure. me. I'm just and she's okay with that now. And hold your ball. So... Um, so you can see where the little red part is, and that's called the quick, yep. and that's a little blood vessel. So we want to cut all of the white off just in front of that quick. So and if someone accidentally like catches, that. Uh, catches that bit or cuts yeah. that bit, um, is that a problem? Will that bleed? It will bleed if you go back too far. Yep. Here in a grooming salon, we use a product called styptic powder. Sure. That's it there. But if you're at home, you won't have styptic powder, so you can just get a bar of soap yep. and run the fingernails through the bar of soap, and that will seal the hole up. Sure. Hmm. So nice and easy. Excellent. So we'll quickly go through and do the rest of these. Good girl. So again, I just acted like she didn't do anything. Else. Good girl. That's a very important note, I think. I um, think so, because she, she did mouth my hand yeah. then, but she didn't use any pressure. Yeah, um, it's just a warning. And if I had kind of jumped back and gone, oh my god, she, yeah. she, she's trying to bite me, then she would have the upper yeah, hand exactly. and she would try and bite harder. Exactly. So, yeah, I always just maintain like the... Now that one's a black one. Yep. So a lot of people really freak out with the black ones. The fact that I have already done the white ones, I know how much length I took off, that I can just match that exact same length. Yeah. So, um, but it can be difficult with sure. the black ones. So that's her. A lot of dogs don't yeah. like having their paws played with anyway. No, But it's important right. to get so, them used to this. So yeah, they are. and I always tell customers, just, you know, if they're sitting at home on the couch at yeah. night, just sit there and just play with your dog's feet and just do all sorts of things yeah. with them. And, yeah. Exactly. Just getting over it, so yeah. Great. Thank you very much. No problem. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof.